Thank you. A little bit of background. 3D for Medical is the world's most successful producer of desktop and mobile medical applications. And that's a statement that we do not make or take lightly. Statistics directly from Apple and App Annie have shown how we've dominated the various app stores around the world. And in most countries, we've been stuck to the number one position for the last several years. Some of our achievements, we've had over 10 million app downloads. And in our industry, that's a lot. Our flagship app, Essential Anatomy, which uses propriety 3D technology, has been number one in the States for over two years. And in fact, it's been number one grossing medical app in 141 countries worldwide. Essential Anatomy also has 1.1 million user sessions a month, so it's not one of these apps where it's been bought once and not used. It's growing on quarter on quarter. There isn't a university our hospital in the world that doesn't use one of 3 different Medical's apps. But enough about the past and our last achievements. I want to talk about the future. In the last two years, we've been developing our new technology. And already, we have several US and worldwide patents pending. We showed our new technology to Apple and Tim Cook. And they decided to invite us to the Apple keynote that was presented in front of 40 million people worldwide. We believe that this new technology will be changing the healthcare interface, especially between doctors and patients. Gone are the days that a doctor will describe an ailment with a plastic model that really has no relevance to the individual issue or their particular disease state. Or even worse, the dreaded hand drawings from a doctor. And research has shown that these hand drawing notes can be confusing. In fact, the Royal Society of Medicine has stated that, only, that patients only remember up to about 14% of a doctor's consultation. Thankfully, legislation has now been implemented in the States that enforces doctors and physicians to make a record or a consultation of a consultation and upload it to an EMR. And if you think about it from a physician's point of view, it doesn't make sense to be making these hand notes, then making a copy of it, giving it to the patient, then making another copy, scanning it, and then sending it up to EMR. And that's where we come in. So. 3D for medical technology allows the patient to visualize their 3D anatomy and disease state in true 3D. And to demonstrate this, I'm going to play a short video from the Apple, key Apple keynote that was done in September. to show you something that really requires the incredible performance of graphics for the iPad Pro and an application that's pretty amazing. It's an application that helps to visualize human anatomy and assist doctors, patients, and students in medical school. And to show you this incredible new application, how it runs on iPad Pro, I'm very excited to show, bring up the head of design at 3D for Medical, Irene Walsh. Irene? Thank you. In the average medical consultation, the patient is with the doctor for just seven minutes, and they only recall 14% of the information they receive. At Tweety for Medical, we believe that clear understanding between doctors and patients leads to better healthcare, and ultimately to better patient outcomes. I'm excited to show you how with the new iPad Pro, our complete anatomy series has bridged that communication gap. So let's imagine I'm a doctor. I'm speaking with my patient about their injured knee. I can zoom right into the knee area to show them more about the bones that work here. The incredible CPU and increased memory of the new iPad Pro mean that I'm now seeing these textures at double the resolution of previous versions. And with the poly count of our mesh also doubled, I'm experiencing new levels of medical accuracy. Now let's turn on some muscles, and we can see how they interact with the skeleton to create movement. The quadriceps you see here are being animated in real time at 60 frames per second. Just imagine how groundbreaking this will be for physical therapy patients in understanding and visualizing their treatments. This motion is fully controlled by me, and it's seamlessly rendered by the new iPad Pro. 
to get a little context, I can turn on the skin there to help orientate. We've taken full advantage of the Apple Pencil by introducing unique cutting and drawing tools to our app. As a medical student, for the first time, I'll be able to edit the model rapidly and with pinpoint precision. I can cut through the layers of anatomy to reveal the relationships between structures and even simulate surgical procedures. As a trained physician, I'll use complete anatomy to educate my patient on their condition. So let's say my patient presents with a torn meniscus. I can bring up a preset view of the knee area to highlight the relevant structures. Then to make the injury more specific to my patient, I can take the apple pencil and make a precise tear on the meniscus directly on the model. I can then show my patient their particular injury in 3D. Using the pressure sensitive technology, I can model the effects of arthritis, varying the size and the frequency of bone spurs according to the force that I apply. I can even annotate while still in this 3D environment using our pen tool to draw directly on the model or using our automatic labeling function. What's really great about this is that I can, I can actually share this exact 3D model with my patient and record a consultation for them to refer to in complete anatomy on their own iPad. We believe that the new iPad Pro and our Complete Anatomy series will transform the way doctors and patients communicate, increasing medical understanding and improving patient care from remote villages to the top hospitals and universities in the world. Thank you. By the way, Irene Walsh is actually sitting in the front here as well. <clears throat> Irene only had three minutes to demonstrate some of the thousands of features within this application, and I'd like to take the remaining couple of minutes to show some others. So, let's zoom into the head and select the mandible. You will notice that we've really stepped up the quality of our 3D. Not only the top mo medical accuracy, but also the 3D technology that is unsurpassed in this industry. Let me fade the mandible so you can see the structures through it and behind it. Remember, you can do this to any of the 9,000 anatomical structures within the application. Irene has already shown the bone spurs in the 3D pen, but let's try the fracture tool. Let's pretend that the patient presents with a fractured cheekbone. So just by pressing the fracture tool and then on the model, I get a preview of and where and how I want to present their fracture. Let me rotate it around and move it up a little. And then when it's in a position that I'm happy with, I can just press the done. Now let's zoom back a little and have a look at my work. Let's pretend that this cheekbone trauma has resulted in my patient having a brain edema, which is a swelling of the brain. And let's perform an operation to relieve the pressure on the brain by releasing some of the fluid from beneath the skull. Let's cut a hole in the back of the skull. And then let's cut a hole in the dura mater. mater. And success, I've just saved this person's life. I think we have another minute, so let's also look at one more tool, the discovery tool. So let me just go there. And let me just increase the depth so that it goes all the way through the model. And let, let's rotate the model with the hole that I made still in place. Now let's turn on plates. And let's make a plate. 
and I can label the parts. I can now share this publicly or to my own academic group that I've made earlier or to an individual patient. It's going to call it test. And done. I've now shared this publicly. And it's not just for plates that can be shared. This is a sharing platform. It is also made for sharing recorded operations, explaining individual conditions or disease states. Finally, we're also working on, an in, on a newer version that integrates with MRI scans, meaning that we can take the data, the data points from an MRI scan, and take the data points from our models, and morph our models to that data. So what that means is that, that in the future, you'll be able to zoom into an area, rotate, look at the skeleton, and look at the, the, the systems around it. But it won't be a generic skeleton. It'll be your skeleton. It'll be your body that you're looking at and your disease states. Thank you very much.